So I'm just sitting here waiting for some water to come to a boil so I can make myself a cup of coffee. And uh, I was thinking about the piece of kit that I'm using and I thought I'd uh, share it with you and maybe ask you a question about it. So let me finish working on my water and uh, make some coffee. And then if you're interested, stick around and we'll have a short chat. So it obviously takes more than one thing to make a good cup of coffee. But uh, the coffee being the most important, of course. And the coffee I use most often, as you likely already know, is the Rampage coffee. Still enjoying this. It's my go-to coffee, especially when I come out to the woods. I have a new, well, a couple of new pieces of kit. I guess it's one piece of kit that's that I want to discuss with, but two pieces of kit that uh, are new, or one of the two. Not the one I want to discuss, but I'll share this with you. This is a spring-loaded, if you will, pour-over type filter holder. Holds my filter and my coffee. And it's not that that I wanted to discuss. Cool little piece of kit. I just bought it on AliExpress. If you're interested, I'll put a link to it in the show notes below. I think it's a, probably a knockoff of a, another more registered design. And another piece of kit, of course, you have to have something to boil water in. So today it is my titanium Kessel from Überleben. I just cooked a whole luncheon in this as a, as a pot. And now I'm cleaned it out, of course, boiled some water. And now to make my coffee. And the stove that I'm using which I just let burn down to coals, although there's still a lot of coals in there, is my Bushcraft Essential Ultralight. You know, this goes with me pretty much all the time, it, even if I'm taking other stoves out, because a lot of the time I set it up for use with a Trangia, and it's an ultralight stove, and, a, and it's a great little holder for the Trangia, but today I used it with wood to cook my lunch and now to boil my water. And I... Not forgotten, but I had underestimated just how good a little stove this is in cold weather. Because as you probably heard me say, cold weather is not nice with little stoves. They need a, a dynamic of heat. Well, this works. You do have to pay attention to it. You do have to feed sticks constantly and make sure they're dry, but it works. So let me just pour a little water in my pour over, just enough to soak the coffee down a little bit. Actually, the piece of kit I want to discuss with you is the mug that I'm using. This is made by Stanley. It's called the Stanley 2-in-1 Mug and Pot Set with a 24-ounce mug and a 32-ounce bowl. And, uh, yeah, now I'm using it as a coffee cup, but I did just, I used it as my bowl to eat from a few minutes ago. So what I'll do is I'll finish pouring the water through my coffee and uh, I'll give you a few close-ups of the mug and bowl set. And uh, yeah, we'll just talk about it for a second because it's quite a nice little piece of kit. I have to tell you, that Rampage coffee never disappoints. Doesn't seem to matter what I use to make it with. The coffee just works in just about every device. Speaking of devices, that uh, spiral pour-over device, I'm not so sure about it. That was the first time using it. I mean, it works, but for some reason it seems to clog up the coffee after a period of time. And the grind is not that fine, so it shouldn't have done it. Any other pour-over device would have uh, run the coffee through or run the water through. But uh, yeah, I'll have to play with it a little bit more before I pass any judgment on it. You can tell it's getting cold out. I have my toucan, or for my American friends, my beanie. It's uh, early December. Temperature is right around zero degrees Celsius. I mean, that's not cold. That's just freezing, right? That's freezing, Mark. Uh, it's going to get a lot colder than this. Snow hasn't started to fall here. Oh, we've had some flurries, but, you know, nothing that stayed on the ground. It's just a beautiful day to be out. Chilly, but still, you know, you have to grab those days and get out where you can. The sun is... Well, sun and cloud. Okay, it's not a perfectly sunny day, but it, it is still a great day to be in the woods. So the piece of kit that I want to discuss is this mug, as I mentioned. And I'll give you a few close-ups in a minute, but I'll, let me explain what it is. It's made by Stanley, as I mentioned. It's called the best of my 
ability to find out is called the two-in-one mug and bowl set with the mug being 24 ounces and the bowl being 32 ounces. And they interlock, and I'll show you that up close, to uh, create a uh, like a thermos mug. So the, the coffee mug is sitting inside of the bowl itself. And when they're locked together like this, they create a thermos. And uh, it has a screw-on sippy lid with a little flip top on it. And what I like about this is, well, one, it keeps my coffee warm, but it's the compact, lightweight nature of it. The fact that, you know, you can put the two of them together and it only weighs a few ounces. I'll put that in the video description if you're interested, maybe even on the screen right now. Uh, just to, you know, it's a lightweight piece of kit and the size of it is perfect for that little... Uh, my little coffee canister sits down inside and just catches on the first ledge inside of the mug. Yeah, um, it's great. Only problem is, I don't think they're in production anymore. I can't seem to find it. So where did I get mine? Well, this is the third one that I picked up at Value Village, our thrift store. And I see them come through every once in a while and I don't bother. But uh, when I saw this one come up, I thought I would pick it up because uh, uh, I said, you know, th that's such a cool piece of kit. I'll take it with me and I'll ask you if you know anything about it. So here's the thing. I looked on Amazon. I looked on Stanley's website. I can't seem to find any mention of it being still being made, but maybe you know something about these. Are these still being made? Do you know where you can buy them? Uh, yeah, it it's, would be a great disappointment if this is still not out there because I, I'm telling you, that, I mean, yes, Stanley makes some great products uh, made of metal, some insulated mugs and everything else, but they cost more. They weigh more. And they don't double up as a mug and a bowl like this one does. All right, let me show you how this works and why it's so kind of cool. Yeah. Get in close enough. So you can see it. what happens is it interlocks. I'm trying to turn the handle enough so that it picks up. It interlocks. And there's my coffee mug. And there's my bowl. You put them down inside turn it and it locks together. It also has, you probably can't see it in the camera, but it has measurement increments down the side. So if you're measuring out for a freeze-dried meal or something, then you can do that as well. Of course, I had to decorate it with some Rampage coffee stickers. All right, just meant to be a short video. Share my enjoyment of coffee in the woods with you and ask you that. Do you know where these can be purchased? If you do, please provide any links or any information because I'll put it in the video description and uh, just share it with everybody else because, like I said, it'd be a shame if you can't buy these any longer. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.